The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, we need to always remember that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is the manna for our souls. It is by the feeding on Him that our spiritual life could be nourished and sustained only through the mentor ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, because the true fellowship demands nothing but knowing the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and understanding the right knowledge of Bible doctrine. As He only can give life, so He only can sustain it. And this is He does by presenting Himself to us in the written word, and nothing but by the mental ministry of the Holy Spirit and we need to enjoy it by the Spirit through the Word not only in his death as a lamb slain nor in his resurrection from the dead as the old con of canon but as the one who humbled himself who has down here below in the likeness of one the Word made flesh who dwelt among her, among us therefore it is the Word alone it can give us the true healing it is the Word alone it can give us true miracle it is the Word alone that can work out out for peace which surpasses all understanding and furthermore as strangers here we need to the friendship and consolation of one who himself has been a stranger here and this is we have in Jesus how cheering to our souls it is to trace his footsteps from the manga to the cross as recorded in the Gospels how the manna character of Jesus appears here the small round thing lying on the face of the wilderness was unknown and unnamed among men of that physical heavenly manna. He came in the night of the world's darkness and passed away unheeded and despised by those he came to bless. They knew him not, but his people know him and delighted to feed upon him as the one who humbled himself. The manna was white. It lay unsealed in the dewdrop of the sand of the desert. Such was the blessed Lord. Although in the world and continually moving amid in, in, in its defiling scenes, he was holy, harmless, undefiled white in his unsealed path from the manga to the cross as his garments were on the transfiguration mount the manna was sweet it tastes was like honey the philistines once asked what is sweeter than honey the anger saint the anger saint can answer how sweet are thy words unto my taste more than honey to my mouth and that true honey will be a true healing and that true word will be a true purpose wherewith you and I have been kept alive. Dear brethren, ponder over these things. We need not sin more again after we have been salvation, but we do sin. Therefore, in the privacy of our priesthood, we need to confess and get back into fellowship and grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine so that the worst sin cannot be in our lives. The wind is too strong today. We shall continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life, in order will chilling to Lord God the Father that we believe upon His Son. That is the moment it's a truth. And whereas for the believers, the great manner is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine, so that you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And we have for the work pertaining to the past teacher, the rightly dividing the word of truth, the diamatrum of witnesses were with the invels in it, the inwelling diamatrum of witnesses, Trinity, followed by Bible in our hands, have we really done the word from Genesis 1, 1 to Revelation 22, 21 or not, the great work we have to do, and nothing can be greater in this world than to do the work of Jehovah. Over, wrongly wasting our time in pursuing those which is not at all real but rather rightly pursuing for them we need to be which is nothing but Bible doctrine and that is what the Dhamma witnesses will be and we have the third Dhamma witnesses the hearers if there are no hearers dear brethren do not worry besides nature the entire angelic host will be our witnesses so dear brethren do not worry about the softies or XYZ trends that are happening around in the church but rather look upon doctrine look upon Christ under the mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit 
vote and run the race where with you and I have been called. So which way you want to go, you decide as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge of the Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.